Good afternoon from Amsterdam. We are in the pipe. Just getting out of the metro station. You know what? Arriving to the pipe, Albert Kipe Market, it takes only 10 minutes by metro. This is the pipe Albert Kipe exit, station of the metro. And here we are in the Albert Kipe Market, one of the most popular local markets of Amsterdam. And the temperature is around 3 or 4 Celsius at the moment. However, due to the strong wind today and tomorrow, the temperature feeling is colder than like 3 or 4 Celsius. So the feeling is like 0 Celsius at the moment. Tomorrow at the same time, it's going to be minus 4, minus four, 5, according to the weather forecast. We are not going to walk through Albert Kipe Market today. I don't want to get into that busy street for today. Instead, we're going to have a little peaceful walk towards the other direction, this side, towards the Lysa Plain area. I'm going to tell you about how you can arrive here from Amsterdam Central Station. It takes only 10 minutes, as I told you. And if you take the metro number 52, directions out <laughs> only after two stops you can here you can arrive here the pipe metro station and this is Albert Kipe exit downstairs there are two direction to center urban center Urb urban and Albert Kipe if you follow Albert Kipe exit signs you will be end up here and then you can just walk to Albert Kipe street one street both sides are full with all kinds of things uh, sold by the stalls. It's uh, quite popular. If you visit Amsterdam, it's a good chance to come here only in 10 minutes. Anyways, the other exit is on this direction. And the pipe is in the south of Amsterdam. We're going to walk towards this side to Marihainekan Plain, Marihainekan Square. Let me see who are here at the moment. Scott Robinson. Hey, you are here already, right? Scott, hopefully. Welcome back. Tibor. Angelo, it's called in your location also as I read your comments. Good evening from to Philippines. To the Philippines. Rose and Randoy, our supporter. Thank you very much. Danuta. Uh, I can't understand, but welcome. Pablo, Argentine, and uh, Gerard Ranking, Alucard Michael Loke, yeah, clopped. Tommy Sun, good morning. Jack Mundo, our long time watcher, thank you very much. Silk, good afternoon. Who else? Is? I don't want to miss anyone. Jim Martin, armchair traveler from Toronto, Canada, thank you very much for coming back. You're also one of our long time watchers. It's pretty cozy. Let me take a moment to read all the comments from this direction and then we're gonna walk towards the other side. Let's find an easy spot. Today is Saturday afternoon, 6th of January, and this is the first video from 2024, live stream video, I mean, on this channel. Hopefully we will make another 1,000 in this year. Sebastian, let's go. Leo Hartman, hello. And Miriam, also our uh, previously Canada, nowadays Appledorn based friend. Welcome. Dave Silver, Happy New Year. Paul Morris, good afternoon. Analia, merhaba. How are you? Hukhatet. Merton DJ, not so warm. Clopped. That's correct. Edif Olabash, hello to Istanbul, merhaba, hoş geldiniz. And let's go. Maybe other side is better. Let's have a look. There's a light rain, but not very much at the moment. And according to the weather forecast, I don't see any rain at all. Only a bit windy, a bit cold, but still not bad. In the next hours, the temperature is gonna drop even more and tomorrow will be pretty colder i think tomorrow we will have another live video from amsterdam again somewhere else 
it's been a while we didn't come here to the pipe. I mean, I've been here many times, but on live stream we didn't see around. As you see, Dutch life continues in the same way, no matter how the temperature is. Tomorrow we will see the same. Tomorrow will be minus four or five, but still we will see a lot of Dutch bikers around the canals while uh, they are busy with their normal life, like shopping, going to shopping, going to party, going to cafe, bar, meeting your friend, etc. This is the life here. Bike is the number one transportation. It's a flat country. Usually you can see a couple, husband and wife, on the same bike. Sometimes women carry the man, sometimes men carry the woman, the partner on the bike. Most of the time are old school bikes. Not new one usually, but uh, recently, especially in the last few years, we start to see more or more electric bikes, e-bikes. Let's have a look to one example, for example, how many bikes can be around the city. Look at that. This is a bike parking in an ordinary street. It's a very ordinary street that you can see hundreds of bikes everywhere. It's an e-bike, I think. Yes. For example, that one is e-bike. And those are typical bikes uh, used here. Some of them are e-bikes, as I see. And it continues like that. Everyone has at least one bike. Some people have, uh, especially Dutch, they have two or more bikes. I have two bikes, one foldable bike and one touring bike, a stronger one. For the foldable bike, I keep it in my uh, home, hometown, Wasp. So I use it only when I go for shopping or when I cycle around the town. If I come to Amsterdam, I use the other one, stronger one, the touring bike. Or if I go to the office, to the company, I use a stronger one. Those are rental bikes, make bike, two of them. The rental price should be around 15 euro for 24 hours or 20 euro, I think. Hello, Martin. Welcome, Terezina. Danuta from Poland. A lot of snow in Poland. It's getting colder, right? I think Danuta lives, as I remember, in a beautiful town or city in Poland. In the north of Poland. I can't remember the name, but it's a very beautiful city. Ahmed Messi, hello from Amsterdam. Las Vegas is here. Michael Dalski. Good to see you here. How was your week? Well, my week, you know, our live stream, the last one was on the New Year's Eve. And after the live stream, we continued to enjoy our time until 6 o'clock in the morning. When I slept, it was already 7 o'clock. And, oh, this is... Uh, this is a box cowboy electric bike. Someone bought a new bike from the cowboy company, cowboy brand. What I was telling about a uh, about the New Year Eve. Uh, yeah, after that, because of the high amount of Turkish herbal tea, a lot of drinks, my immune system got weakened. And in the last three days, I didn't left my house. I just stayed in the house. Did nothing and rested. Today I'm much better. That's why we can do this live stream in this such weather.
At this corner we can see Mari Heineken playing. It's a square. It's a famous square named after one of the family members of Heineken family. And around this square you can find a lot of good restaurants and bars. Some of them are touristy, but some of them are quite popular by Dutch. For example, that one, Ari, Irish bar. And there is Tulip, the Tulp. Uh, it's also a good one. Maybe we can walk around that so you can show that closer. Barcha, it's a Spanish tapas bar, I think. It's also on that side. Damian, Damian Richie, wishing you a great new year from Bratislava. Good to see you. You too, thank you so much. Thanks very much for following this live stream. Those are garbage bins, a typical ones used in the neighborhoods of Amsterdam. This area is Mari Heineken Plain. And these garbage bins are not like the small ones. I mean, it doesn't look like it. It goes down a lot. So there are special vehicles that take out that garbage bins to the up. If we have a chance in the future, I would like to show that. It's pretty interesting technology used in that garbage collection in Amsterdam. It says this street is not allowed for cycling. If you ride through this street by your bike, there is a fine for 95 euro. Thank you so much for get off the bike the top this is the pulp I think on Tuesdays there there is a salsa dancing party here every Tuesday after 10 o'clock they have nice cocktails and other things tapas and in the summer it's pretty nice this outside seating area is great all over Mara Heineken play back play back should be Bartra is uh, it's named after Barcelona, it seems. And Spain, it looks also nice. And there's vegan junk food bar here that you can find all kinds of fast food things, uh, all based in vegan ingredients. They have a few branch all over Amsterdam. One of them is around Rembrandt Plain. It's in Rechelier de Warstrad, actually. I see something below. Steven Bagley, thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks a lot. By the way, thanks a lot to all YouTube and Patreon supporters as usual. One of them, a couple from Texas, United States, uh, Daryl and Ilya. If you watch this, thanks very much again. Uh, let me tell about a little story. I mean, Daryl and Ilya planned to come here on this weekend to Amsterdam but because of some unlucky circumstances they couldn't make it and they had already bought uh, a ticket for ice hockey match today after five o'clock between Amsterdam Tigers and Dragon Utrecht so two good teams and they sent the tickets to me do whatever you want they said so I will go there. After this live stream, I will go to uh, Yap Aden, Yap Aden uh, ice skating park, ice skating area, and I am gonna watch the match. If I have a chance, I will record a short video and I will share with YouTube members and Patreon supporters. Of course, I will take some pictures for Daryl and Ilya. Thank you so much again. And Yap Aden is, as I read today, I didn't know about that. It's the ice skating world champion in 1920s, 1930s. He is the only man in the world who became 
world champion in both ice skating and cycling in that time. I'm not sure his record was uh, already achieved or not. Sushi bar, blue dragon. Anyway, it's gonna be first time for me. I have never been in, into a ice hockey match. I'm, uh, I'm pretty curious about that. I will see. Maybe I like, maybe I, I will not. I don't know. But still, it's gonna be a really nice experience. Ice skating and ice hockey is pretty big in the Netherlands due to the nice weather. So, from my town, Wasp, I know that many of the people, Dutch people I know, in the winter they always <laughs> they always go to ice skating parks. They, they use every chance. Speaking about nice weather, on Monday and Tuesday, the weather is gonna be even more cold. So there's a chance that the canals, Amsterdam canals, all, all over the Netherlands, I mean, canals uh, can be freezed, maybe. It should probably on Tuesday, they expect everywhere to be icy, icy ground. There's a special ice skating tournament in the Netherlands, Elfstaden Tocht, I think. I hope I pronounce correct. It's a 11 city ice skating. It happens only there are enough conditions between that 11 cities. So the last time it happened like 20 years ago, I think. So. When it's too cold, when all the required canals are frozen, they do this big tournament. They, I, they skate through all the canals following that route. This year also they are hopeful about that. After dozens of years, maybe they can do that again. We are next to Heineken. Brewery and museum. That building, Heineken Brewery. So we just uh, got off from the metro station of the pipe and we follow through Mary Heineken Square and here we are in Heineken Brewery. Let me see what you guys are up to. JJNS, welcome. Wang Tong, our friend is here again. Mr. Aloha is Daryl. Thank you so much, Mr. Aloha. Right, let's cross the street. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Just a second. Martin De Jong, our moderator, thanks very much putting everything under control once again. Our moderator Martin De Jong, only one time we met on the street by chance. He lives in Zutermir, thank you very much. We have another moderator, Demirji, but we cannot see him for a while, I don't know why. But he's back to Turkey, not here in the Netherlands any longer. He is an Utrecht lover 
and today the ice hockey match between Utrecht Dragons and Amsterdam Tigers. You'll see that. There's a little park here, goes towards Rijksmuseum if you follow this route, which we will do. By the way, it's almost 4 o'clock here. I should be around Amsterdam Central Station at 5. So, we have like 40 minutes together, maximum. Maybe I will leave it earlier. But still, we can see a lot of things. I think we're gonna stop this video at Lysa Plain after showing that side. Oh, wow, that's nice. 108 people are watching us today. Thanks, everybody. For newcomers, uh, we have YouTube memberships here on this channel, and I make live stream videos two times a week, mostly on the weekend. But also, I share pre recorded videos. There are also member or members only videos. If you become a member starting from 2 euro monthly, you can watch some members only content also. For example, 360 videos, but uh, it's pity I couldn't make 360 videos for a long time. I should do that next weekend again. But at least you can get early notification about the live streams. Oh, Demirji is here. Thanks very much. Sorry about that, Demirji. I, I can understand, of course. Well, if it was me, I'll just leave and wouldn't watch anything at all from that country. To be honest, you are stronger. But there's always a hope to be back to your dreams. Alert life, yes. I live in Amsterdam. I mean, not in the centrum, but like 20 minutes from here, but still it's part of Amsterdam. I've been living here for already seven and a half years. I work here and I live here. I am Dutch. I'm Dutch citizen now. I left my original citizenship to become a Dutch. Oh, there's a very nice boat is coming, a traditional, authentic one. Let me show you. It's not a futuristic one. It's pretty cute. Look at that. It's like private, only two or three people inside. If you have a plan for marriage proposal, this kind of boats are pretty good for that. Private boats. Of course, they are more expensive than normal group boat tours. But not astronomic prices. That building you see in distance, it strikes museum. Masterpiece from uh, Albert? No, ah, I forgot the name. Kuiper. Anyway, architect Kuiper, uh, Albert Kuiper, something. I can't remember clearly, but this building is one of the projects of him. Other one is Central Station of Amsterdam. There is a sightseeing, sightseeing bus over there, as you see. But to be honest, if you visit Amsterdam, I mean, in other cities, like in other cities in Europe, those bikes, hop on hop of bikes, are pretty useful. I used uh, in Madrid, Barcelona, and also Toledo, when I visit Spain and maybe other countries as well, I can't remember. But in Amsterdam, they are not that useful, to be honest. Because Amsterdam is a compact city, it's better to walk around. You can just 
arrived to Rembrandt Plain in 15 minutes walking from Central Station. Or you can arrive to Lysa Plain, another popular area, in 25 minutes. You can walk to Albert Kuyp Market in 25 minutes again. Something like that. Everywhere is a, in, a, in a close distance. It doesn't hurt me, but it's, it's your call. Maybe you have walking difficulties, then it's fine. Yes. If you want to see around in comfort, and also if it's the, the weather is too cold, then it's good. You can sit in a warm place inside, only at some points you can get out. Yes, the bells, the bell sound is coming from Rijks Museum. Forty one to Amsterdam, good to see you. What a sail from Corpus Christi, Texas. Alexander Savik, hello. Love your walking tours in Amsterdam, thank you very much. We'll do more hopefully. Sundari, happy new year again. Good to see you, our friend from Dordrecht. Sukubi, hello. Yes, Sukubi, some, some chat conversations. I read a bit late, but yes, Sukubi is one of our YouTube watchers, long time watchers that has been still watching. Since that time, when I was when I started to live stream videos, I was not talking, but he, he was still watching at that time. So it should be more than 35 months, probably. Look at that bike! It's a nice parking. So it's guaranteed that. It cannot be stolen. You have to make a lot of efforts to steal this bike. But there's a fine from Amsterdam municipality. Oh my God, <laughs> it's broken. Ah. Ah. I have to put somewhere, yeah. Okay, from the municipality of Amsterdam, there is a fine already with this bike. I think someone left it forever not to get it back right. this is a shared road by bike and cars but mostly bikes as you see it's pretty wide it's a veteran's house. <laughs> veteran's house uh, street. Oh, I didn't notice this cafe bar before. Let's have a look if they have glue wine. If it's not crowded, let's check. Oh, this is pretty good actually. They have a nice sitting area as well. Wow, in the summer is awesome. Look at that. Next to this beautiful canal, peaceful, quiet. Uh, I will not get a good wine at the moment now. I don't want to spend some time. But they have also traditional snack. Ronja van Dorben, bitter bowl. It's a great location to be. Yes, its name is Mankind, I think. Mankind Cafe Bar. This one. We discovered together. I have never seen it before. Good to see you. 
<laughs> Alexander Saving 26 28 January you're gonna buy me a Geneva deal done <laughs> okay hope we see each other on that weekend I'm gonna be here on that day on the 26th of January I will be in a company party and then I will be a salsa dancing festival but later I mean I will be free in the afternoon of 27 and 28 so probably I will do I will be walking around Amsterdam with the camera on my hand let's see if we can get a Geneva I met uh, many people in the past while I was walking around in Amsterdam and we got drinks together but they were not planned we didn't plan it we just they just noticed me with my camera on hand and they not they recognized me and then we got a small Geneva session or birche it's a big bike So Kubi, what is the temperature in your city? Why you are aiming about our temperature? <laughs> oh, the receiver is coming again. That's great. Let's continue. It's already 31 minutes, that's good. I'm gonna finish this at Light Zeppelin. We're gonna see Light Zeppelin Square together. Is there any change or not? Then I will take tram to the central station and watch the game provided by Daryl and Ilya. And here we are, restaurant Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel. We have been here many times, you know. I love this place because it's close by to Rijks Museum and Lysa Plain also, but it's, it's not that crowded like the other Lysa Plain bars, and prices are decent. <laughs> this is Spiegel Street, Miller Street, and the other side is right mission. <laughs> we're gonna walk that side. It's sweet. It's full of lights a beard. Yeah. <laughs> this bridge is always busy with photographers. In Bratislava, 6 degrees Celsius. Uh, Scooby Summer. Oh, 27. Wow. If it's Izmir, is 18 Celsius. If it's uh, 15 Celsius here, we go swimming. We go to the beach. <laughs> There's more than enough. Another beautiful bike. It's from Flower Bike Man. He decorates these bikes 
and placed everywhere in Amsterdam city. There are many dozens of them already around. And the most popular bridge, you can see different kind of decorations and colorful bikes. If you don't know, don't know about him, he is a former American citizen. I, I'm not sure if he, he is still American citizen, but uh, he lives here with his wife. And he gives, he donates these bikes to the city. It's not for money, I mean. It's not a job. He just wants to make people happy. He wants to make the city beautiful, even more beautiful. So he give away, gives away these bikes after decorating and placed around the beautiful canals. You, you can find a lot of interviews or you can follow him on Instagram. Flower Bike Man, his name, his name. Uh, it's uh, his hobby and free giveaway, yeah. I mean, obviously he spent money on it to decorate them. Amsterdam is a not cheap city. And as I know, he gets nothing in exchange. You're welcome, Miriam. Let's get a bit quicker. I need to get the tram to Amsterdam Central Station and catch the ice hockey match. It is Amsterdam Tigers and Dragons Utrecht. If I if I'm allowed to take some short footages, I will share it with YouTube members and Patreon supporters from the hockey match. The rookies coffee shop. By the way, last week it was quite rainy and due to the heavy rain all around the country, now the inner sea of uh, the Netherlands, uh, the, it has much, much more water. See, uh, the rain water increased the level of the water. So because of that, there's a risk that some city and towns might be flooded flooded so in Horen town and Monikendam the municipality workers put a lot of sandbags nearby the canals and the streets close by the canals they, they put a lot of sandbags to avoid any flooding I'm following the news And I will share the developments later with you. I think I mentioned before, but some of the areas in the Netherlands, they are artificial, they are man-made, so 
for example, that inner sea is protected by a lot of water turbines, windmills, and many other things. So they keep the water level in the same level, always. They try to keep the water level in the same uh, level, so in order to avoid any flood to the other part of the country. Nowadays, that process is a bit risky due to the heavy rains. Thanks very much sharing that, Miriam. Well, uh, yeah, I noticed that too. So nowadays I watch more Dutch TV shows and programs on TV. But there's a one uh, thing that I didn't like before. I mean, for a long time I watched only Netflix or something like that if I want to watch something. I'm not a guy who watch television all the time. So only I watch one TV series, one episode in a day. Some, some days I didn't watch anything. I don't watch anything. But to improve my Dutch knowledge and fluency, fluency uh, nowadays I watch more than often, more than normal, the Dutch TV shows with subtitles. But thanks very much for sharing that. Okay, here we are at Lysa Plain. There's an interactive something, Free Your Mind Festival. There's that Arnhem, in Arnhem City. Free Your Mind Festival. Our house is Electronic Music Museum at Rembrandt Plain, Amstelstraat. Good day, Lizette Jacobs. Happy New Year to South Africa. Thanks very much for watching. Pierre Caron. Oh, you are in Amsterdam already. February 3rd for three weeks. Ah, oh, you will come back to Amsterdam in February. Hope to see you here around, Pierre. Wow, Undercover is a great TV series, in my opinion. I watched the whole episode. I like it very much. It's truly authentic. And the characters are so professionally created, in my opinion. They acted very well. Churros and hot dog place is still open. The stores, I think, they're gonna be here until February, end of February probably. Those guys with green jackets, they are helpers. If you need a, if you need to ask a question, you can ask them. But their main duty is make sure no one is cycling in the tram line or around this area. It's not allowed to bike. Look at that guy, for example. This young. This young man, let's see if he's gonna be stopped. The green guy, yes. All right. End of the story. <laughs> As you see, the green guys are watching around to make sure that there are not cyclists in the crowded areas and on the tram line. So then it's uh, safer for everyone, also for themselves. For the cyclists. Okay. So you see it on live. For Tibet Amsterdam, I know you're a green guy also. <laughs> yes, Oli Bolon. Oli Bolon at the other side. Yeah, Oli Bolon Kram. Kram in front of National Theatre. So the tram frequency to Central Station, as it is, you see, 
like in every three or four minutes. Yeah, it's uh, more frequent actually. La so like if you wait three minutes here, you can get in the tram and in 10 minutes you will be in Amsterdam Central Station. But if you have time, if you want to walk, it's only 25 minutes from here if you follow this direction and you can see a lot of popular attraction and squares around. Okay, that's the end. Thanks very much for watching this. I will get into the next tram, not this one, but the next one. See you tomorrow at the same time, probably. Have a nice weekend, have a nice Saturday. Bye bye. Don't forget thumbs up. And if you can, become a member. You will get some benefits in exchange. Thanks very much. See you guys. See you, Demetri, Tibor, Drusifer, Angelo, Tommy San. Our regulars are here a lot of time. Thank you very much. Greetings from the first live stream of the year, the new year from 2024. All of my travels. I have Instagram, TikTok, Facebook accounts, by the way. Also, Discord server. You can find all of them on this video description. Our thumbnail sponsor is Art Bay Byte on Instagram. It's also on the description. Thanks, guys. See you. Bye bye.